In this walkthrough I'm going to try to explain how to get all the loot in Arcane Tower. Before entering the tower go to the Underdark Susser Tree, or however that is pronounced. In this area pick up Blossom Flowers. There should be at least three of them. After that has been done, go to this exact location. There is a grave that you can dig up. Interact with the tombstone and choose dig up option. Rock under your feet. In memory of Nirna, a shining light. As you dig, you... Pick up the dog collar. It's got runes all over it. I wonder what they say. In front of the tower there are going to be a couple of turrets that cannot be killed. In order to deactivate them permanently, throw blossom flowers next to them. We're gonna deactivate them through the tower, but before we can do that, deactivate them this way. In front of the tower there's a chest that can be looted for Skybreaker weapon. Now we're gonna make our way to the tower. Start jumping onto the mushrooms to reach the ground floor. Upon reaching the ground floor, pick up another blossom flower. Enter the tower and use blossom flower on the generator. That is gonna activate the tower and deactivate all the turrets in front and in the tower. Before entering the elevator, loot the chest for uncovered mystery amulet. Ascend one floor. At this floor there's gonna be a couple of different flowers you can pick up. Pick all of them up because that is related to Hobgoblin quest in the colony. After picking up two types of flowers, read the Threadbare book, that's related to the top floor. Ascend to the next floor and now we are at the main entrance floor. Read the dusty book as it is also connected to the top floor. After reading the book, go to the balcony and loot this specific chest. Upon looting the chest, transformation spell occurs and now you can look in the inventory to see unique boots you've picked up. Ascend to the next floor. From the chest pick up mage's friend. I don't pay compliments. I make observations. Then go to this strange button. Equip the dog collar you found earlier at the dog grave 
and food will be dispensed. This is some kind of an easter egg, so nothing really specific when it comes to loot. For anyone wearing this collar. Then go to the table and read Roads to Darkness book. That's also related to the top floor. If you have Lazelle in the party, then she can decipher the strange Gith artifact. If not, check the cipher on the table and then check the artifact again. It's gonna tell a story, but that's about it as far as I know. Now make your way to the top floor. Choose first two options and then wait for Bernard to put guiding light ring on the table. Pick the ring up. Make your way to stool of giant strength, which is kinda hidden, but look at the video and you'll figure out where it is. Hit it to destroy it and then loot club of giant strength. Now equip that guiding light ring, get to the elevator and the new button is gonna appear. If you want, kill all the robots and Bernard and then loot Bernard for another unique weapon. Go to the basement. In the basement there's unique stuff that can be picked up, that's quite good. Besides that, loot the chest for spark wall ring. That's it, that's all the loot I could find in Arcane Tower. If there is something that I've missed, do tell in comments. Thanks for watching.